Hey guys, what's going on? Outdoor Pursuit here. And today we're gonna be doing a little bit of an experiment. Now I do do uh, European head mounts on my white-tailed deer. Uh, I've never had to whiten any of the skulls, but this time I kind of do. I did one for somebody and it just didn't turn out how I liked. Um, I did buy a hair solution, but I can't find it. I bought it a few years back. Um, it was just like a beauty whitens hair or something like that um but yeah i'll show you what's going on and show you what it looks like now and then what it's going to look like so yeah okay guys this is the buck that i actually shot this year um now i did uh boil this um and pressure washed it a whole bunch um but yeah as you can see it just it's kind of um it's just not how I would like it to look. It's very dark, uh, dirty looking uh, right there, you see. Um, but in the past, this is what they usually look like after I get them out of pressure washing and boiling. So I don't know what I did there to make it so white as opposed to that because I did the same process. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing the um, peroxide method and I'll show you what that looks like right now. Okay, so here I have some 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide um, and I just put it in this little container. Um, it's not too full. There's probably about, uh, I don't know, a quarter of an inch um, of peroxide down in there. I did put a little bit of water in there. Um, but yeah, so I've seen this YouTube video uh, putting napkins over these and just keeping these wet with peroxide and this will allow um, peroxide to kind of soak up to there obviously you don't want to go around the uh, base of the antlers the burrs whatever you want to call it um, but yeah so you just kind of wet it every now and then and I don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna see after I'll leave it on for a day and if it's not as wide as I want it to, then um, I will leave it another day or something. But this is the buck that I'm doing for um, somebody else. This is not mine. So I, I want to focus on this and make sure this looks very good. Um, but yeah, so uh, tomorrow, once this uh, sits overnight, I will let pull this off and let you guys know what it looks like. And hopefully it looks good. Um, if not, I'm going to have to do this uh, hair solution. So hopefully I don't have to spend a bunch of money on that. But if I do, no big deal. And uh, yeah, it's just life. So uh, I we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, guys. It has officially been one day. Actually, almost two. It's the night of the next day. Um, I went ahead and peeled this back and... You can already see it's already getting pretty white. Um, I don't want to peel this back too much. Um, but you can see a little bit needs right there. But for the most part, you can see, I mean, that whitened it a lot just from the uh, peroxide. So I do think I'm going to leave this in here for a day just because kind of that stuff and around the eye. What would really help and would really widen it if I filled... Um, peroxide all the way to the top I don't feel like going to the store and buying a bunch of peroxide um so yeah but this is fine and I every now and then I'll kind of get some of this and put up here on the paper towel but as you can see it's wet so it's being it's constantly um uh wet on the skull so that's no big issue but it probably would obviously whiten um better if it was just saturated in it so yeah, so uh, I'll show it to you guys tomorrow and uh, show you guys the finished result. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the finished product. Um, it turned out pretty good. Not one, not the best one I've ever done, but I'm still pretty happy with it. Um, the antlers, they didn't get tore up at all. Um, this was, that was already like it. Um, that's all natural. Same with that. Um, these, these have really cool... Uh, tips on them they, they're just very white i've never seen that in a deer 
but um yeah so it it's pretty white for the most part on camera it well with the flashlight and on camera you can still see a little bit like this but um i like it and it's gonna go on this pedestal mount i'm having trouble with setting it up but yeah so i probably won't show you on that because i'll have to have someone to help me with it um so yeah so there's that but yeah so i i think the peroxide method works fairly well um for the cost I don't like them much wider than this. I don't like them looking too unrealistic. This is a pretty natural, but um, enhanced white. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like. Also subscribe. I'm trying to start uploading again. So if you guys could please stay tuned. I should be posting more videos here soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for my channel.